Good morning, folks. Sticking with the trend of mass ecological extinction to start off, like dominoes, folks, we're next. This is a very cool article about a very cool technology, or maybe I should say hot instead of cool. Great opinion article here on your privacy, big brother, government spying. I don't have my list of bad ideas sitting in front of me, but when I find it, I'm adding this to the list. What are they thinking? If you live in the Midwest of the United States, please take a moment to check TorCon today, see if your area is on watch. And lastly, folks, cheers to Scott Craven for bringing up solar storms, zombies, economic collapse, in addition to changing climate, and for making a sound as not crazy as possible. Quick look at quakes, a 5.1 hit northern Africa, that's very unusual, not that this is any more common, a moderate tremor skimmed Canada's hairline. It's not even on RSOE yet, but moments ago, another six-pointer hit the western subduction zone of the Americas. This is yesterday's sun. You remember the center of the disk, there was a tiny eruption. We'll zoom in on it here so we make sure that we're looking at the right thing. As reported, this CME is coming in for an impact with Earth. If you look all the way over on the right, Earth is the yellow dot and the splash does hit it. In the meanwhile, Ovation Prime is quiet, not much charged particles. In fact, our radiation storm has even subsided officially now. If you look at this yesterday, this big red region was not here. That's a corona hole that has just materialized over the last two days. It's dark, you can see it centrally here, just in time to face Earth and become geo-effective. A lot of folks have been asking what the other stuff is besides corona holes that I show here on the sun. Well, the bright regions with loops are the active regions, the, the sunspots on the sun, and the dark thin lines that are a little harder to see are the magnetic filaments, which can rip off and make CMEs just like a solar flare from a sunspot. Solar eclipses this weekend, folks. For those who don't like the visualization I've been using, here's a short list of what we have upcoming in just the next two weeks. Two eclipses, three major Mercury conjunctions. That's the news, folks. Be safe.